Lesson 8. How to engage students during the lessons. Online lessons follow basically the same structure than traditional lessons. A warm-up or discussion topic to open up, a main activity, a practice activity, and closure or whatever structure you use. The dramatic change resides in the tools we are going to use. When I started freelancing, I promised myself to use resources I can't use offline, for example, video quizzes. Of course, you can show a video and give your students a worksheet with a quiz in a traditional classroom. But you can give your online students an interactive video quiz. I use regular resources, such as course books, as less as possible. I add interactivity to each lesson to keep students motivated. They can complete activities online, use online flashcards, or even record themselves. Here are some of my favorite resources that I use on an everyday basis and that you should be using too. Ego for You, which stands for English Grammar Online for You, it's an excellent website with grammar help and interactive exercises. Breaking News English, as the name implies, has wonderful reading and listening exercises with different levels and several listening activities. ISL Collective has worksheets and video lessons. I also use Google Docs a lot for sharing documents and exercises with my students. Live Worksheets It's fantastic for creating interactive worksheets. It's a fantastic way to create and add interactivity to a regular worksheet that you already have. The important thing is to try to add interactivity to your online lessons instead of just using a course book. Don't get me wrong, course books are great. But they are a bit boring, especially when teaching online. Why using a book when you can take advantage of audiovisual interactions?